Hey guys, Brian with Trick Tools here, and today I want to show you guys uh, and talk to you about the differences between a TCT saw, uh, chop saw style uh, saw that uses a metal blade um, with the TCT stands for tungsten carbide tipped blade. Uh, so I want to explain to you the difference between this and a cold saw. So um, both of these would be uh, considered a cold cut. So uh, when you're done cutting material on both of these saws, you can pick the material up right away and it's not going to be hot uh, or any of that kind of stuff. Not like a, an abrasive style chop saw. So uh, both of these have you know, the same similar action where you're going to pull down the blade uh, into the material. You have the vise here to hold your different material in place. Um, and to explain some of the differences, um, you know, the cold saw uses an actual coolant. Uh, to help cool the cut uh, and provide lubrication for the blade as well as it spins at a, uh, a Pretty slow speed. Uh, this one's only 44 RPM on this machine. So that is very slow uh, This machine here uh, as the tungsten carbide tipped uh, blade uh, spins uh, at over a thousand RPM but it's about half the speed of what a an abrasive style chop saw would be so um, it explains kind of the difference between, I guess, the three if you uh, want to consider like a, an abrasive style saw. Now, um, really, uh, when you're considering these saws, if you're looking at them on our website and you're trying to figure out, well, do I need a cold saw? Do I need a uh, TCT saw? Uh, some things you want to consider are uh, maybe how much you're going to be using the machine uh, and what your intentions are for your cuts, that sort of thing. So. Uh, a TCT saw like this slugger machine here. Uh, we also sell the uh, evolution line of uh, TCT saws. So uh, when you're considering one of these, um, you want to consider, uh, I guess, the portability of the machine. Uh, it's something that if you need to easily move it around, if you need to carry it around a job site or a, lar a large facility, that sort of thing, uh, this is a great machine for that. You can. Uh, you know, pull the head down, there's a chain here, lock it in place, carry handle on the top, and you can easily move it around, throw it in your vehicle, be able to take it out to a job site, back to the shop, that sort of thing. Great for that. You can still get a nice, precise cut uh, with this, and uh, it's going to, uh, you know, speed up your uh, time on your cut where you're not, you know, like on an abrasive style saw, you get through there, your tubing uh, or whatever you're cutting is hot, and then at that point, you're going to have to uh, go over, deburr it, uh, that sort of thing. Whereas this uh, is very minimal and almost no burr uh, on this cut, on this machine. Uh, and it's going to be cool, so you'll be able to get right to work. So um, this machine, using the RPM and the style of blade, uh, it's going to remove the material quickly, get it out of there. And that's what reduces the heat uh, in the cut. So uh, you can do mitering in one direction. Uh, with this up to 45 degrees uh, and like I said it's it's really the overall portability of this machine that's gonna uh, you know be the uh, deciding factor on something like this now where's the cold saw uh, obviously it's a way bigger stationary unit it's got coolant in there um, you know this machine is not very portable uh, if you need to move it it's a little bit of a task to do so um, and it's really intended to just be able to set it up uh, say near your steel rack or whatever and be able to just uh, grab material and put it in there make your cuts now this saw you can get uh, a lot of cuts out of one blade uh, using proper procedures coolant that sort of thing you can get a very very long life out of the blade uh, you can you know do thousands of cuts over and over and this is intended for production style uh, you know cutting where you're just maybe you're cutting the same parts you can set something up with a stop you can cut you know thousands of the same parts on it over and over and over extremely precise cutting uh, this one actually will miter 45 in both directions uh, so no matter you know if you need to cut something the other way slide your material through bring it back miter it the other way that sort of thing that's all possible uh, you know with this saw um, everything is built super rigid cast iron frame all that stuff to be able to give you the uh, precision 
to give you the longevity of the machine, the blade, uh, and get the most out of this saw that you possibly can. So again, both of them can give you the cold cutting capability, um, but they're obviously very different. So, uh, you know, if, if it's something where, uh, you know, a blade on, you know, one of these uh, fine slugger saws, uh, you're going to be able to, you know, under proper conditions, proper usage, you're going to be able to get a good amount of life out of this blade. Um, but you should be able to get more life out of a cold saw blade um, just based on RPM that it's turning, having coolant, that sort of thing. Uh, so this is a good saw to be able to have around your shop, whether it's a small shop or a large shop, keep it portable, that sort of thing. Uh, but they both can do some different stuff. So we'll kind of list out the different capabilities uh, as far as the capacity of each of these saws, you know, compared to each other. So you can see that. Um, but again, uh, you know, this, this saw here would be more intended for lighter duty use. Um, you, I mean, you could still use it pretty frequently, but uh, it's more intended for stuff that you're going to be, uh, you know, making a couple of cuts and getting right back to work. Um, you know, if it's something where you're making uh, cuts, like, uh, you know, a couple hundred cuts uh, in a day, all that sort of thing, you definitely want to be looking at a cold saw for that purpose. So what I'm going to do here is make a cut on both of these so you can see how they both run. So uh, I've got the same size material in here on both of these, so you'll be able to kind of see the speed difference between the two. Uh, and they're going to be fairly close uh, as far as that's concerned. Um, the TCT saw might be a little bit quicker. Um, and and all that but it uh you know this saw is going to make in my opinion a little bit more of a mess so this the the metal chips that come out of it uh are gonna you know it's got a chip tray things like that it helps but it's still going to throw uh some chips around and uh, create a little bit more of a mess uh so it's not quite as user friendly whereas the cold saw here kind of contains that a little bit with the coolant and all that you know on the base so um yeah we'll go ahead and make a cut here on this uh, slugger saw so I've got this material clamped in uh, with the vise here, which is a quickly adjustable clamp, and I'll show you that after I cut it. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go through here. So I'll loosen that. I can slide this back uh, pretty quickly. and. Again, you get uh, on the, you know, on your side here, uh, not much for burr. You got a tiny bit of air. You can deburr that pretty quick, uh, but it's pretty loose. But a nice clean cut, uh, and it's cold. You're not going to burn yourself on that like you would on a traditional abrasive style saw. So that is the, uh, the cut on this Slugger TCT saw. So uh, here on the cold saw, again, same size material, and uh, we'll cut through here. So let's flip the machine on. Now this clamp has a somewhat of a quick release, be able to back that off and you can see uh, the cut on this is really nice uh, and uh, you know it doesn't really leave much of a burr on here and that's the point of this arm is to kind of uh, hold both sides of your cut uh, solid to where you uh, can be as burr free as possible um, with minimal work afterwards but it's, it's not, again nice and cold you can touch it. Uh, get right back to work uh, with your part and not have to worry about, uh, you know, hot parts, that sort of thing. So uh, and the mess is, you know, contained here, the chips uh, and the coolant all right here in the base. And uh, again, if you're just cutting over and over all day long, you slide your piece through, uh, you know, go right back to cutting uh, and you don't have to worry about anything building up a lot of excess heat, any of that sort of thing. So uh, hopefully this gives you uh, a good comparison on these two saws and maybe, um, you know, even though they have similar action, uh, some of the difference between the two and why you might need one over the other uh, in your shop. So for more information on these two saws, check out our website at tricktools.com. Give us a call. We can answer any of those questions. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.